Hey, 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 hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a good day. I hope you're all smiling and enjoying your lovely day. In this following tutorial, I'll be showing you on how you can be able to keep your shape keys while being able to apply modifiers. So let's say, for example, you have a model that you're working on. You're, you know, you're using a cube, turning it into a human model. And let's say you're adding subdivision. And then when you're about done with the model, you want to, let's say, uh, before you add subdivision, you want to make the shape keys first, especially even if you're using the mirror modifier and stuff and you're making your shape keys. But the thing is, is that you made so many shape keys that you're like, hmm, I don't want to redo these shape keys because of the fact that subdivision and mirror modifier is active and, you know, I don't want to like ruin my progress. So how can I make it where I can apply these modifiers but still retain my shape keys? This is where SK Keeper comes in where it keeps your shape keys. So this is 100% free. Go to the description below so you can be able to download SK Keeper. Uh, but I will show you how to install it. So simply what you're going to do once you click on the link for SK Keeper, you're going to go into the releases down here for SK Keeper 1.6. Click on that. Then you're going to go into the SK Keeper 1.6 zip. Download that by clicking on it. And then you're going to go into Blender. Then you're going to go into Edit then preferences and then you're going to click on install and then you're going to click on the zip file accordingly so i will go over to let's say downloads and then i'm going to do sk keeper here and then it sh i already have mine installed though but that's pretty much how you would be able to do that so here sk keeper that's how you're able to have it installed you make sure the checkbox is active and you, you know click on that then I heavily recommend just in case though, because sometimes Blender has saving issues, click on this little bottom left here and save your preferences. Once you have that, you can leave this up, you know, the preferences. And then you should be able to see it by selecting your model. Let's say, for example, um, I want to... Let's, let's just say we're going to duplicate this arm here real quickly. Sorry, Test Chan. Um, let's say we're going to hide Test Chan here. And let's say, for example, we're going to make a... Sh well, actually, we do have sh some shape keys here. Uh, let's just pretend they're the shape key that works. Actually, I'll make a quick one real quickly just for demonstration purposes. So let's say that we have a shape key here, which if you don't know how to make shape keys, I have a tutorial that goes over how to make shape keys for Blender. But let's say, for example, I have the mirror modifier just as a situation, uh, you know, example. So let's say we have the mirror modifier here and we want to be able to apply this, but we get an error message that the modifier can't be applied with shape keys. This is where SK Keeper comes in. We go, we make sure to select our object in object mode. So let's say our body here, then go into object up here. And then you have three settings. You can either apply all modifiers, apply all subdivision, and then apply chosen modifiers. I tend to only choose the apply chosen modifiers out of choice, but if you, if let's say you have way too many modifiers and you need them applied, then you can of course use apply all modifiers. Or if you just want subdivision only and you have like let's say two subdivision modifiers at a preference, then you can of course choose that. But let's just choose apply chosen modifiers and then you just choose which one that you want. I'm going to choose mirror, then press on OK. Then give it some time for the plugin to do its magic and then the modifier should disappear. Select on your model again, and then test your blend shapes to make or your shape keys to make sure that they work properly. And as you can see, they work perfectly fine. Now, do keep in mind, um, I ha I remembered in the past I did had some issues where um, when I actually used SK Keeper, I did notice a bit of an offset with the shape keys. I don't remember how I got that issue though, but I will at least get, just give a heads up advice though that if you do experience some issues regarding sk keeper unfortunately the dev is no longer working on the plugin so you can't report this to the dev and i again depending on the situation i may not be able to answer it but i would advise if you by any chance notice any weirdness with the um when applying the plugin and you know it's like that tiny little bug that happens i recommend either manually fixing the issue when possible 
or retracing your steps, seeing if maybe you have any extra stuff on the mesh that may interfere that may like mess up the plugin or something like that so i would just say make sure to like kind of keep yourself as simple as possible if that makes sense but even then that's just kind of like um sort of like a kind of advice because i remember in the past i had an issue with sk keeper with a very specific situation with a model but i don't sadly i don't remember how i exactly fixed it but just you know keep yourself simple but otherwise though for the most part it works really well with applying modifiers um and this is pretty much a must-have tool and it's free so i hope that this tutorial helps you out in regards to sk keeper on how to install it and quickly use it have a lovely day everyone see you guys next time bye bye thank you to all my snowflake members in case you don't know i have youtube membership so if you want to further support this channel and what i do then feel free to join the snowflake members otherwise though just your support means so much to me and i appreciate every ounce of it either way though with that being said though hey 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 goodbye bye everyone i hope to see you guys next time okay bye bye